Hello everybody. How is everyone doing today? This is another segment of End Time Prophecy, the conversation. I'm Real Will. And I'm Kissy. Hey y'all. And I'm Victoria. And we are here today to have a conversation with you all. And today, Sister Vicky is going to lead us in prayer, then we're going to go into the conversation. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father God, Lord, we just want to thank you, Father God, for another day, Lord. Thank you for another opportunity, Father God, to get your word out to your people, Father God. Lord, we ask them, Father God, that your word touch their hearts, save their souls, Father God. Lord, help them understand, Father God, that we are living at the end of the end of the last days, Father God. And Lord, we have no more time to play, Lord. And Lord, Father God, we just ask you, Father God, to be in the midst, Lord. Lord, you say in your word where there's two or three gathered in your name. That you will be in the midst. Lord, we welcome in your spirit in the midst, Lord. Give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of your word, Lord. And most important, Lord, just let your word reach the people, Lord. Let them see the urgency, Lord. Yes. Let them grasp in their hearts and in their minds, Father God, that you are on your way, Lord. You are on your way, Lord. And Lord, there's going to be so many people left behind because they took your love and your grace and your mercy. In your word for granted, Lord. Lord, open up the hearts and minds of your people, Lord, your chosen, Father God. And Lord, just be with us, Lord. Forgive us for all of our sins, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. Praise God. Well, y'all, another day, another thought. We we want to talk a little bit today about warning comes before destruction okay we was reading in the um in our in the word earlier today and king solomon he said that the more knowledge the more wisdom that you have the more sorrowful you become for others okay want to come before destruction people it won't be long before god come and receive his people his church and it's going to be so terrible out here guys it's going to be terrible and you know we really need to just get on our knees and pray that the lord would forgive us for all of our sins the things that your eyes is going to see once God come and get his church is going to be treacherous. It's going to be evil. It's going to be things that your heart, your mind, your body, your soul can't handle. This is why God is protecting us right now. This is why God is giving us a chance to stay in his grace and mercy. Okay? They have some wicked, 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 evil things going on right up under your nose. It's a shame. It's a shame because a lot of us are not praying like we should be. Uh, I mean, and yes, it does go beyond prayer. Yeah, you do need more. You do need work with prayer because they what, what the word say? Uh, faith without work is dead. So, you know, we can have all, it goes to show we can have all the faith in the world that we want. You know, we can say it's a thousand and one prayers, but as long as we ain't got no action, no works for the things that we're asking God for, of God, you know, these are things are dead. You, you know, things are, things are changing, people. They have changed. They have changed and they're still changing. And with this chip coming, this R R F I D chip coming, this is finna change the entire ball game of living. This is finna change the entire ball game of life. It's gonna be God awful at that time. And just to know that we might go through a piece, you know, can be a, a bit frightening, you know. But you got to understand that this is also a time 
that God has allowed, a time that he has spoken of, and a time that has been prophesied to you and I uh, many times. And understand, people, with this chip, like we, you know, talked about in the last couple of conversations, is you're going to have a few choices. You're either going to willingly take it, you're going to not take it and run and hide, let God lead the way, especially if you left behind. Let him lead the way, or either you're just going to go and, you know, the Satan's going to frighten you so bad to either he's going to kill you or you're going to kill yourself, which means you still didn't make it into the kingdom of heaven. Let me tell y'all something. When this chip get here, God church will be gone, going to be gone. Won't be long. Matter of fact, the chip already here. When the chip be become enforced, meaning mm -hmm. that you have to have it. When Satan show up, the Lord is going to show up. Okay, we're going to be protected. God's people is going to be protected. And notice right here, love is going to be gone. Peace is going to be gone. Joy is going to be gone. You got to look at these peace, love, and joy. You got to look at them like your sisters and brothers. Best is friends. Because uh, you will miss it if you get stuck here. You're gonna, and you know, we when, when we say wax cold, these are the things that we're talking about. Family not gonna care for family. I mean, it's already bad enough we got that now, but even your closest ones, you know what I'm saying? Like like Sister Vic said in the last segment, we gonna lose a lot of people along the way. The road is very narrow. Some people are gonna give in through weakness. Some people are going to give in by temptation. Oh, that's awesome. I want that. Some people are going to just just do in, and some will be saved. Amen. These options are your own personal options to choose from. Just like our word, just like our God has a word, the devil has a word for his people. And they word speaks about the mark. They were as simple as well, baby. If they don't take the mark, then it's gonna it's gonna be shame. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be what? What is it? Let me tell you. It says, and like I told y'all a couple of conversations ago, the Lord had blessed me to see a little bit of that Quran Bible. Quran, and in there it stated that as far as Satan people, who all have did have not been and taken the mark. By the time that he get here, either, I mean, just you, you can kill them or you can capture them. Yes. Who all have not been and took in the mark time Satan get here, this Satan world, and he wants you to be marked up to show that you for him. This is pip. This is pig and peas right now. This is That's what these marks are about because even God got his own mark. Even Jesus got his own that's mark. That's right. So, therefore, this is, this is about everything we have to live for in this life and the next you have to look at this thing our souls our very souls are on the line earth is not our home people mm -hmm. earth is not our home it's just a place it's just a place because one day we gonna we gonna see judgment. And the question that we all have to ask ourselves is if our lives was replayed before our eyes, would we like everything that we see? Would it be pleasing to us? Would it be pleasing to God just to show us nothing? But blind, there's nothing unseen under the sun. These are the reasons why we have to try to live better. Amen. Amen. I just want to say something real quick. Um, me and my sister, we was uh watching a testimony. Well, I don't want to say it was a testimony, but it was a young lady. God had shown her visions of uh tribulation 
and how bad it was going to be out here and how um that the only ones that was going to hit his trumpet was the ones that was ready and the ones that was going to be lifted up in his rapture and how how immediately after um the rapture had came people were looking for uh their loved ones or the ones that they had just saw and how the media had lied to them and told them that uh, they had got invaded from the aliens or something. It was a, it was an alien invasion because they was covering up the truth. Mm-hmm. Just imagine how much they covering up out here. I mean, covering up the truth out here. Y'all, it's going to be terrible in those times. And like my sister say, it ain't going to be no more love and peace and joy. It ain't going to be no more of that because once Jesus come back for his people, his spirit is going to be gone. That's right. Amen. That young lady said that they was looking for peace and couldn't find it. You ain't going to find no more peace. Because Satan is going to rule full force. Y'all think he's ruling and running now? Uh uh. Uh uh. No, no, no. But once God's people gone and his spirit is gone, oh yeah. It ain't going to be no more disguise, no more disguising right. themselves because they ain't going to have no reason to. That's right. That's right. I mean, it's it's time to get ready. It's time for us to get it right because it's going to be terrible out here. We can't express it enough to tell y'all that it's going to be rough and tough. I mean, it's going to be bad. Mm-hmm. It's going to be bad. And if you don't take the mark, it's really going to be hard for you. We're not encouraging y'all to take the mark, but we're just letting y'all know that if you do be left in those times, it's going to be it's going to be hard. It's going to be very hard, even to even feed yourself. That's right. I mean, this woman was giving her, te- uh, God had showed her a vision that the people had to hide themselves in caves mm-hmm. because the government had let the, uh, had told the military, and let me tell y'all this, the military is already controlled by the Antichrist beast system. They are in full control from the Antichrist beast system. So at this at that time, um, the government is gonna tell them if you find if, if y'all see people that's not that don't have the mark, go and do whatever you want to do with them, kill them, do whatever. It's gonna be it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. Y'all will take this lightly. Y'all may not want to believe it. I mean, hey, it's on you. But just know that you're going to be looking for them. You're going to be looking for them if you be left behind. You're going to be gone. It's going to be too late. It's, it's time for us to take advantage of the Lord now while he is near, while he, his presence and while his spirit and his Holy Spirit is still near. Because it's going to be bad. And it's going to be, it's, it's, can y'all just imagine how bad it would be to be left behind? I mean, it's... It's going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be real bad. It's going to be real bad. Mm-hmm. But it's best for us to go on to get it right now. Because once he come back for his church, it's going to be over with. That's right. That's I want to read uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 5. It said, And whosoever will not receive you when you go out of that city, Take off the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. Mm. The Lord is letting us know in his word that if you don't receive us, you know, for us to just go on and shake off, uh, right. shake the dust off our, off our right. feet and keep it moving. Because right. God is not going to keep begging us. He is not going to keep begging us to receive him, to receive his word, to receive his love, to receive the truth. He's not going to keep doing it. You sure right about that. You definitely right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In conjoins to what sister was saying, um, I was um wanted to acknowledge that uh it's it's gonna at that time of tribulation, they you know, I want you y'all to realize that the world is trying to get us used to living with creatures or beings or whatever it is they're trying to give us the idea of living with aliens which are demons basically so 
Because at that time, at that time of the rapture, a lot of those, a lot of those enemy followers are going to be fully demon possessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, whether you chipped or not, whether you're, if you have, if you don't have that chip, no matter how innocent you look, no matter how pretty you look, they might just go ahead and gun you right on down. Just, just and God to told that. them to gun them down if they don't have that mark. It was too late for them to take the mark. If they don't take it now, they can't take it later. That's what they God told them, which is safe. Our God told them, told us not to take the mark. Mm -hmm. He said that mark is no good for us. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it won't help us with what, what our spiritual walk. Mm -hmm. But he said to them, but but they God, Satan said to them, if they don't have the mark time I get here, Kill them. Do whatever it is you want to do with the with the people who don't have them up. Jesus Christ, God said, don't take them up because you ain't in the, you ain't of this world. You of another world. We got something to do, and it don't concern that mark. Put it like this, people: the separation process has begun. Yes, Lord. Weeks and tears. Yes, Lord. It has begun. This is all about, like like we said in the in earlier part of the show, there's two marks. God has a mark for his people, and Satan has a mark for his people. And everything of this world is for Satan. That's right. Based on what? He is the prince of this world. And, and he has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. Amen. And see, with that being said, we is not of this world. Uh -huh. We this ain't our world. So we walk by faith and not by sight. You see what I'm saying? While the devil people walk by sight and not by faith. Okay, you see the difference there? Okay, let me say this. God is going to hold each and every last one of us responsible and accountable for what we do or have done. Like I stated in the last conversation, there is nothing you can do that the Lord won't love you no more except sell your soul and curse the Holy Spirit. That's right. You can be forgiven from any and everything else. You may say, well, the Bible said, that should not kill and I didn't kill me. You can be forgiven <laughs> for anything else. You can be forgiven except for them two things. Okay? So don't be fooled nor deceived. And let me tell y'all something. It's time for y'all to teach y'all children. Y'all got to teach y'all babies. Mm. The, the, the less... Let me see how I can put this because you know me. Let me see how I can put this. Y'all got to go ahead on and start teaching y'all babies right now at age 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because the more rebellious they become, the more Satan owns them. Okay? The Lord said he chastising those in whom he loved. Therefore, even we're, we are being chastised or have to be chastised. So, therefore, you got to chastise your babies. Don't y'all know that the baton has been passed down to us? And we are barely oh. holding it. Our generation is barely holding it. And my, uh -huh. my oldest daughter said today that her generation nine times out of ten ain't gonna really drop. They're it. gonna drop the baton. Do and, you? And we talking about the baton of God of the gospel. Yes, the, Lord. The baton of the true gospel. Yes, Lord. The, so the, it's all the spirit is already weakening. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because the world is going cold because of the iniquities of our not only our leaders but ours in our own homes and, and the way we decide to live and do peoples. It's a it's a lot of cold hearted people. It's, some of y'all are the cause of some of these people going cold. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sad but true. The very bad time that started with Adam and Eve, that hit Abraham, that hit Moses, that hit David, that hit Solomon, that hit Elijah, that hit Jacob. That hit Matthew, that hit Paul, that hit Jesus, that's hitting us. They got to go to our kids. Yep. And if our kids don't know what to talk about, about Jesus and how to and how to save the next generation that's coming in, it, we are nothing. Oh. If we can't 
help our kids be saved in the name of Jesus, what good are we? Right. I'm telling y'all, you see, when it comes time for that rapture, and a lot of people keep talking about pre-rapture and ain't no rapture and ain't this and that, but that's a lie. Read your word for yourself. Go to Matthews. Read your word. It's in Daniel. It's in Revelation. Read your word. Okay, that's a lie. When the rapture comes, a lot of children going to be gone. The word does not use the word rapture, but it does say we will meet, be caught up to meet Jesus in the sky. Our earthly term is rapture away. Amen. 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 I just want to say too, um, what my sister just said on how we're going to have to teach these children because the media is teaching them one way. The cartoons is teaching them to be rebellious um, and to disobey their parents and just got them uh, 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 hypnotized. Uh, and then the schools ain't teaching them no better, teaching them all kinds of lies, teaching them false, hit, teaching them false history. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get in you all word and learn the real history because that's the real history right there. We don't have to teach our children. If you don't teach them, then who, who, who will? We have to teach our children, and and we coming up. They keep they keep shouting a new age. What they call it, a new age, uh, something other. We coming into a new age, and a new age is these children. A new world order. Yeah, yeah this new world order. Yeah, this new world order. This new day and age. So basically, what I'm getting at is these kids. These kids, these these celebrity kids, like what's Jaden. Saying that he's a prophet or something, but but we all know that he's a well, he, he's on the dark side. He ain't he ain't no real prophet. And you got all these little kids or uh, celebrity kids and all these kids uh, who, who rappers and all them. They have a great influence on these kids, especially if you're letting your kids listen to this stuff. That's right. That's so we don't have to teach these children the truth because if not. That's all Satan won't now anyway is this, this, this young generation. Mm -hmm. But he can carry them right on right they, so he can carry their souls right on to hell. Mm -hmm. yeah, but so we have to we have to if, if you don't love your kids then don't do it. But if, if you love your child, just like Christ loves you, you're gonna teach your children the right way. Because it'll be mm -hmm. terrible because of you that your child go to hell. Mm -hmm. I mean it, that that'll be terrible. That's bad. That's 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 terrible. So we, we need to teach these children the right way because the, the media and all these cartoons and all that, and it, it ain't teaching them nothing but, but nothing but rebellion. Amen. Amen. So I have to. Oh, and I want to say this too. Not only do they have this 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 uh, RFID chip, but they also have this electronic tattoo That's right. that they implement that they're going to implement within the next year or so. Don't take that mark. Don't, that, that's another mark. That's another mark of the beast, but in a different form. And they're gonna trick these children so bad, saying that this is cool. I got one. Won't you get it? No. We're gonna have to teach our children the difference. Cause you got some great influences out here, right. and they gonna do it just to show they don't have knowledge of it. <laughs> and it's our duty to teach our children the right way. That's all I got to say. I, I want. I, I'm sorry, Sister Big. I kept trying to uh, comment on what you were saying. I'm sorry. Uh, once you had your time to. <laughs> um, okay. But what I wanted to, what I was trying to address was, uh, we gotta try to make sure to teach our children. Just because these ch these other people are jumping off the bridge, we don't want to follow them. Because, like we said, the the road is narrow. And when our children are looking at these rich children who are already lost, our children want to want the things that they have. Our children, these like these children, are are role models to our children, and the influence that these children can have on ours could be. You'll be surprised how big and dramatic that transformation could be. So 
I just want to acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, children can be envious sometimes. And, you know, we want to make sure that we teach our children to be grateful for what you have based on God has blessed us according to his will. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Praise God. And thank you, Lord. You got to say yeah, I just, it just, it's, it's the kids. We really, 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 really got to pray for them. And we, we got to help them carry this baton. It's very important that we help them because every soul counts. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. You know how Jesus said, you got 100 sheep, one of them wander off. It's important for you to go and get that sheep. Uh -huh. It's important. Every soul count. And what did the stuff that they got going on out here for our kids today, they are being uh, deceived in ways that they would never be able to understand. Uh -huh. And the sad part is they're getting them while they're young. Uh -huh. And this is why God says, start now, teach them now my way so when they grow up, they will not depart. And if they do depart, they'll know their way return. back. That's right. You know, they won't be sub subjected to all this other teaching right. because they had one true word in them in which they grew up on. See, it's going to be a lot of missing kids out here that them are going to be going home with the Lord. That's right. That's and I'm going right. to tell y'all what, I'm going to be one of their goddess, some of their goddess. No, you hear me? Right. In the name of Jesus, because God loves kids. That's right. God loves families. That's right. God loves people. And for people to keep disrespecting the Lord the way that they doing, uh, that ain't right. God asked the, uh, question. God asked the question, is my love worthless? He said, I suck my only begotten son. And this is how you lavishes me? Uh, I suck my only kid. Uh, Imagine sending your kid to a di disgraceful world like this, although it's uh, your creation. What I'm saying, people, is we need to desperately, desperately get on our knees, bow our heads, and pray with tearful prayers. Go before the Lord and pray. Pray, Lord, pray. The Lord said it's not too late. Pray. It's not too late. We still got a chance under God's grace and Jesus' mercy. Yes, Lord. Pray. Pray so that he can heal. If not the land, you and everybody around you. Pray. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Everybody, this, Thank you, Lord. this is a very important matter here. And we urge, urge you all, by all means, please, grab your families, men, grab your wives, your kids, mothers, grab your children, grab yourself. Yes, Lord. Grab yourself. And allow Come, the Lord to grab you. Get on your knees. Get on your knees and cry out to the Lord. This is something we all have to do. And some more than others. This is something we all have to do, y'all. Get on your knees and pray that God, please, Lord, please do not pass us by. Thank you, Lord. Please do not leave us. Let this entire household be lifted up in your name yes, and continue to do what's right from that point. We love you all. We encourage you all to get to know Christ. Follow us in, in, the, in the love of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we love you. This has been another segment of End Time Prophecy, The Conversation.